All right, how you doing? This is the intro to Klimbim by Don Ross. And I'm going to go through the different parts or components of that intro, and then we're going to piece it together. First thing you should know is this tune is not in standard tuning. Okay, I'm going to go through the strings one by one, and you can use a tuner to tune up. The sixth string is a B. Fifth string F sharp, four string, C sharp, third string, F sharp, second string, B, first string, F sharp. So string six, five, four, and three are going to go down to the respective notes. The second string is the only one that is the same with standard tuning. It stays a B. First string is the only one that goes up to its note, which is F sharp in that case. Okay, so that's a tuning. So maybe pause the video and get in tune with a tuner. Okay, another um, aspect to this intro is the use of harmonics. And we're going to use harmonics at the 12th fret. which the videos I've seen of Don Ross, he uses his ring finger of his left hand at the 12th fret and strikes down with the right hand with three, string, three fingers down, back of the nails, to get those harmonics. He also plays harmonic at the 7th fret, three strings. And this one, he plucks with his fingers towards the palm. Um, now there is also arpeggios used in the intro and the arpeggio that's used in a couple places is thumb on the sixth string, thumb on the fifth, I finger on the fourth, M on the third. Okay, we'll talk about all these when we piece everything together. Uh, he uses hammer-ons. He uses a left-hand hammer-on on the fourth fret of the sixth string. He uses a left-hand hammer-on at the fifth fret, where he's using do, doing more of a chord as a hammer-on. You could do a full bar. Or I think maybe kind of curving your finger a little bit like that and getting three strings, strings six, five, and four as a hammer. Might work well since that's going to be associated with the harmonic at the seventh fret. Okay, we'll get into that. He also uses some hammer-ons in a couple chords. If I strum the six strings where I'm barring at the fifth fret and then hammer my fingers three and four on strings three and four of the guitar. So I strum the bar at the fifth fret, then hammer my ring finger and pinky at the seventh fret on the third and fourth strings. This also happens at the seventh fret. Same exact thing, just a two frets higher. Okay, another technique is a dead string strum. If I touch the strings and then strum with my right hand, in this case down up, that's another technique that's used. You can strum down up with your I finger, your M finger, all three fingers, I, M, and A index, middle, and ring finger, that is. Or I often use a technique which I don't know that Don Ross has used, but I often strum down with the three fingers, up with the thumb. So down with the three fingers, I am I index, middle, and ring finger, back of the nails, and up with the thumbnail. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I use that in a lot of my playing, so 
So I tend to use that as well as these other techniques of just the I finger or just the M or just the three fingers. Okay, and then uh, there's also a little uh, percussion with the heel of the hand on the face of the guitar. Okay, so kind of at the wrist, heel the heel the palm, heel the hand, just on the face of the guitar. All right, so it'd be good to uh, kind of just explore some of those techniques that I went over quickly, and um, now we're going to piece it together. So the song starts out with a low six string. And I'm going to do the arpeggio that I mentioned earlier. Okay, I'm going to go. Now I'm going to hold my uh, ring finger, my left hand, at the 12th fret. And it's going to do harmonics on all the strings except for the 6th string, which I'm playing open. So I'm playing 6th string open, and then I'm playing harmonic at 12th fret, harmonic 12th fret, harmonic 12th fret and then a strum down for three strings of a harmonic. Okay. Six, five, four, three, strum. Okay, and the rhythm actually is, the first one is a little bit longer. That's where I'm going to come in with my heel of the hand thump on the face of the guitar. So we got the opening. Okay, after that, I got a, a hammer at the fourth fret of the sixth string. Okay. After the hammer on the fourth fret of the sixth string, I'm going to do the harmonics at the seventh fret with my pinky of my left hand, plucking the strings with my index on the third string, my middle on the second string, my ring finger on the first string, and I'm going to do them together, plucking them back to the palm of my right hand. Okay. So I do the Four string hammer, harmonic at the seventh fret. And then we're going to do a hammer at the fifth fret um, with three strings. I think in the tab that he gives, he marks um, the bar. Um, so I do the three strings, six string, fifth string, and four string, because I'm still hearing that harmonic ring at the seventh fret, and I don't want to disturb that. So. So again, when I do the hammer, I kind of, my index finger kind of has that shape where this knuckle joint is up, this knuckle joint's caved in. So that way, the first string, the first three strings, can ring out undisturbed. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to introduce the dead strum, dead string strum, where you kind of you have to touch with the left hand on the strings. I'm not pressing down. I'm just touching lightly, and I'm doing a strum. And I mentioned the different ways you could do it: the I finger, 
M finger, three fingers, incorporating the thumb. And it's just a down up. Okay. Next part. I'm going to strum the fifth string or fifth fret. All the strings is a bar. And this is where I'm going to do the strum and then a hammer on of strings three and four with my ring finger and, and pinky. Uh, then we go on to the seventh fret after that. So we got. Now the seventh fret, we're going to kind of actually go back to um, the arpeggio idea. I'm going to actually strum two or three strings with my thumb of my right hand, holding a bar at the seventh fret. And then I'm actually going to do my arpeggio after that. So I'm doing thumb, and then I'm doing thumb on the fifth string, I on the fourth, M on the third. I'm going to start at the fifth, fifth fret bar that we did. So we had the hammer on of the fifth, fifth fret, mute strum, strum of the fifth fret bar hammer, and this is where I'm going to to keep playing from. Instead of playing from the beginning like I was before, I'm going to play from here now. So fifth fret hammer, dead string strum down up, strum fifth fret bar. Hammer, fingers three and four. Now I'm going to go to seventh fret. I play with the thumb, the right hand, arpeggio, and then strum the seventh fret bar, hammer, fingers three and four, my pinky, my ring finger. That gives us a chance to repeat some of the sections that we've done, some of the parts that we've done. So, I'm going to do that far again. This is the beginning. We got something new. Okay. Uh, we're going to do down up mute strum. And we got this new chord. New chord is a bar at the ninth fret. But within that bar, I'm also using my pinky on the 12th fret of the third string. And my second finger on the 10th fret of the fourth string. After that, I'm going to go to the bar at the 7th fret with my 3rd finger and 4th finger down 
on the ninth fret. Same place that they hammered to before. Okay, so we get down up mute strum, strum the new chord here with the bar of the ninth fret. Down up strum, then down up mute, and strum at the seventh fret bar. Then we actually repeat from there to the beginning. Which most of that is the same as what we've already done, but the second time through the intro, after I do a hammer on at the fifth fret, three strings, and the strum of this chord with the hammer on. So then I'm going to do a down up mute strum and a harmonic at the seventh fret. I'm using my ring finger of my left hand for the harmonic, and then I'm also strumming down with the back of the nails of three fingers my index, middle, and ring finger. And that's the intro, and after that, play as zero on the sixth string to start the next section. So here's from the top. Okay, this brings up one thing that I failed to mention. At the very beginning, when you strum that harmonic at the twelfth fret, you're actually going to mute it with your left hand. Left hand mute before you play the thump, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you mute, mute the strings with the left hand, then the heel of the hand thump. So when you mute the strings, it should be light enough where you don't hear a, you know, a hit on the fingerboard. Okay, here we go.